a lot of guys getting a lot of money and they are not, I repeat, they are not subjecting themselves to these women that's looking to Lori Harvey for inspiration. Forget it. You in trouble. You better get a different, you better be looking at Savannah James. Savannah James is a better influence for you. What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. Uh, just taking a quick detour, stop, a quick break because I've been out and about taking care of business um, and running around. It's raining, so it's a little bit scenic in here, you know, sets the mood, sets the tone. But anyways, neither here nor there. The thing that I want to talk to you all about today specifically is the thing it seems like everybody has been talking about at least for a week now, and that's Michael B. Jordan and Lori Harvey. I kind of feel bad for him, Michael B. Jordan, that is, and Lori Harvey, so to speak, because, you know, it's a price that comes with fame and that every single thing that you do is on display. So when Michael B. Jordan, he probably already had tickets to the playoff game and he showed up to the playoff game right after everybody had noticed and realized and that it was publicly um, announced that him and Lori Harvey had broke up. Now they paying attention. They paying attention to his body language. Do we seem tired? I'm looking at. Uh, different reports are saying that Michael B. Jordan is now starting to talk to white women and he went and bought him a $12.5 million crib and did he do it because of Lori Harvey? We don't know. We have no clue. The only thing we can do is speculate based off of what information has been provided to us. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to give a completely different take because I think that it's important to pay attention to, to the smaller details that people are taking away from this. And the problem with Lori Harvey isn't that she's doing anything different than majority of the modern women today, which is a problem in itself. You can't be hopping from guy to guy. And even though, you know, most people will say, well, she's for the streets and all of that, so on and so forth, because of who she messed with. She messed with Future and, you know, she jumped around to this guy and that guy. And then somebody told me that she had been talking to Diddy, which came by way of her actually talking to his son or something. That's problematic in itself. But that's not the biggest issue that people should be having with Lori Harvey, right? Lori Harvey is going to be fine. Let me say that again. Lori Harvey will be just fine. She is going to be a socialite. She is gorgeous, as we all know, regardless of whether or not you rock with her or not. There are certain rooms that uh, she is able to get in that 99.9% .9 of most people will never be able to get in. She'll be able to monetize it. I don't believe that she'll die alone because she's too far up there. But pay attention to what I'm telling you. She's not going to die alone because she's too far up there. She is very much in the same social circles, I would imagine, as, you know, the Kim K's and the Kylie Jenner's and all of those type of people. Like, she has a-list celebrity status. I mean, look at her mom. Her mom is a divorcee and wind up snagging Steve Harvey. Now, we have no clue whatsoever what her future is going to hold as far as who she's going to talk to, if she's ever going to get married. My bet is that she is because there's always some simp that's willing to come along and do the Michael B. Jordan in the first place. And if they broke up based off of what everybody is speculating to be true, and that he wanted a long-term relationship and she didn't, that means that she still has options. She's still young. She'll be fine, right? Bad behavior, she'll still be fine. But here's the real issue with Lori Harvey and why people have to really, really be careful on what it is that they're listening to and what they're taking in, right? You have a lot of women that's coming to her defense. Do I care? Absolutely not. But it speaks to a larger problem within our community. And the larger problem that we're having is that other women that are regular, below regular, average at best. Shout out to the homie Kevin Samuels. Rest in peace, big dog. You think you can get away with some of the same thing that Lori Harvey get away with. Now, we don't even know if Lori Harvey is actually going to be successful when it comes to a relationship. Not even sure that it even matters because once you get that high up, Money takes care of a lot of problems, right? She has the network. She had a daddy. She got all of the, the, all of the makings of being able to be okay, regardless of how we feel. But it's the women that are, that's influenced by her behavior that feel like or justify the behavior 
and then they live it and they think that they can get away with it too. You can't. You can't do what Lori Harvey does. You can't do what Kim Kardashian does and then be able to hop from man to man and upgrade on your way up there in a lot of instances. Go from the Chris Humphreys to... To who did was she what Reggie Bush or something like that at one point, and then she jumped up to Kanye, and then she over there with Pete Davidson. You can't do that. Listen, not only is it bad and problematic behavior, and it's bad for our um, environment and society, and that is teaching people the wrong thing, but you really believe a lot of these women really believe that they can do the same thing as Lori Harvey and Kim Kardashian and all of this, and you can just be out here in these streets. And that that's going to work out for you. It's not going to work out for you. Guys are smarting up. They getting wiser. They not moving. They not being simped out like your grandfather and your father and your great, 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 great grandfather talking about happy wife, happy life. Listen, everybody is not going to play Boyce Watkins. Everybody is not going to pick up after you done already lived your whole life, had a bunch of kids by a bunch of men that don't necessarily want you rolled over you and all of that other type of stuff and then all of, all of a sudden he want to come back and pick you up and say I'll save you nobody is going to validate your behavior guys is, is smartening up and they wising up and they might do it with Lori Harvey because they're incentivized to do so in a lot of different ways but for these regular everyday women that's not going to fly baby girl that's not going to listen listen look at listen to Uncle Anton Uncle Anton is not going to tell you the thing that you want to hear. I'm going to tell you the truth. The truth is, is that you are going to be in trouble. Ain't nobody going to pick up after you. The man that you say that you want is not going to be available for you because he has options. He can do whatever you want to do. And as men age, they tend to get smarter. They get wiser. They get richer. They become more successful and they make better decisions. If you're looking to Lori Harvey for inspiration on how you should be living your life, you're looking to the wrong person. You can look to her for fitness. You can look for to her for beauty. You can look towards her and say, oh man, I like the way that she take her pictures and all of that other type of stuff and like it. But if you're looking to her for inspiration as to how you can live your life or more importantly, validation so that you can do whatever it is that you want to do and get away with it and still be able to come out on the other end unscathed, Look at your auntie. She was once young. She might have even been halfway decent looking. It's not happening. It's not happening. You can't surgery your way to it. You can't BBL your way to it. You can't Botox your way to it. And you cannot butterfly eyelash your way to it. You are going to be in trouble if you are looking to Lori Harvey for inspiration as to how you can live your life. It's not going to work out for you. I'm telling you. I coach a lot of people. I see a lot of people on a regular basis. A lot of people. I don't just talk about money. I don't just talk about being successfully married. I'm telling you, women are crying out, begging, borderline desperate to find a man that wants to align with them. Listen, they not even ask. Once you get to a certain age, they're not even asking for a man to take care of everything. That's wishful thinking. They're just looking for a partnership. A lot of guys ain't even willing to partner no more. They said, forget about it. I'm not doing it. I'm not playing that game. Listen, you're not going to be sitting up in my bins with my stitch leather, diamond stitching, and with the red guts, with all of the red ambiance all around me so I can get all of the right. You're not going to be sitting in his bins. Because trust me. When they, when they was making business, they didn't stop making mine. It's a lot of guys getting a lot of money, and they are not. I repeat, they are not subjecting themselves to these women that's looking to Lori Harvey for inspiration. Forget it. You in trouble. You better, get a diff you better be looking at Savannah James. Savannah James is a better influence for you. I'm telling you. I love you. I appreciate you. I got business to take care of. I can't kick it with you all day. I got money to go get, all right? Shout out to my fellas that place the bag as the number one priority because becoming the best version of yourself, it yields everything else. The money, the women, all of that. Stop 
wasting your time chasing women and, and go and chase your greatness, all right? I love you guys. I appreciate you. My ladies, my flowers, let's get it together. Let's put it together. That's the lesson that you should take out of this Lori Harvey situation. If you have not joined the Patreon, make sure you do so. We are powerballing in the Patreon. It is an absolutely phenomenal experience. It's a group of people that's going in the direction that you want to go in. And then we talk about everything related to business, money, getting to that bag, and more importantly, being successful. All right? I love you. I appreciate you. If you need to kick it with me personally, go to my website, AntonDaniels.com. Hit the email and then send me a message or email me at AntonDaniels413 at gmail.com. We're going to get you scheduled and I'm going to get you right. I love you. I appreciate you. I'm going to holler at you later. Peace.